I'm sure everybody here knows teamwork, but Erin Willett was the epitome of teamwork today. So without without her, uh, I don't know if I would have had uh, as fresh legs coming in here today. So I owe uh, all of this to my teammate, Erin. Well, I mean, you owe a lot to the hard work you've done in your life as well. But it was incredible to watch you two work so well together. Now, when we went in the belt with three laps to go, there was a $600 pay on offer. I know how important winning is for you here. As you're heading to Beijing, you really want to leave with a positive, a lot of momentum. Did that take a little bit of extra thought deciding is the 600 bucks worth it right now? Well, on the back side of the course there, I, I wasn't sure if I was going to go for it. And I, I thought to myself, well, if I'm in good position and I don't have to work too hard to get it, then, then I'll go for it. And then immediately my mind switched to the Olympics. And I thought to myself, Gina, this is your training for the Olympics right here. It's going to be hard, and you got to learn how to suffer. So that's what I did. <laughs> My goodness, you know, I noticed today, not only here at the race, but there's an awful lot of pride in the Canadian Olympic cycling team, and a lot of that is based here in British Columbia. Can you tell me, or put into words, what it felt like to race in front of all of these people that have been supporting you for so long? Uh, well, when I, it was a good thing I had my sunglasses on on the start line here because when the Canadian anthem was playing, I almost started crying. So uh, it's all like, you guys have been fantastic. Every year I've come here to race, you have all come out and cheered so hard and so supportive. So I wanted to make this my final stop on my way to Beijing. All right, now take us through the next three weeks for you. Are you going to be staying here in British Columbia? Or what's going to happen? Uh, actually, I'll be here for 10 days and then uh, the national team, uh, myself and Zach Bell and our coach are heading to Switzerland and that's where we're going to do our final um, track prep at the World Cycling Centre there until uh, August 10th where we're going to fly into Beijing uh, for uh, my event is on the 18th of August, that's the 17th year. I don't know what time it's at, but we're going to be in Beijing uh, seven days before my event to get uh, acclimatized uh, to the smog. And, uh, and ho hopefully some good conditions there, get ourselves, uh, get ourselves comfortable and uh, tune up the legs for the big race. So one final question for you here is when we're getting ready for our men's race coming up. We've got your awards ceremony. I'm literally looking forward to that. But was that sprint closer than you thought it was going to be? Because, boy, I wanted to call you from 50 meters out, but I was like, well, I can't yet because Benjamin is coming hard. Actually, I made a bit of a, 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 bit of a mistake. Um, I think I, uh, I, went, well, I went a bit too early. Actually, it was a very long sprint, and uh, nothing was kind of happening exactly the way I thought it was going to play out. So I just I was on the front pretty much at that time. And I said, well, it's now or never. So that was probably the longest sprint win I've had here at Gastown. I went from farther out than I normally go out. But uh, yeah, Kelly Benjamin was hot on my heels and she really pushed me. So uh, I uh, there, there was a little bit of a, uh, no hesitation, no hesitation, but I was, uh, Kelly has a great sprint. So uh, congratulations to her too. Well, congratulations to you. Would you send this lady off with a big head of steam to Beijing? Oh, I couldn't, couldn't ask for anything more. Oh yeah, I, I can't wait. I've been waiting for this uh, moment for uh, over 10 years. So yeah. What do you think the chances are over there? Definitely uh, a pod podium performance is, is definitely within my reach. Uh, my fitness is going to be really good going into it, uh, as is everybody else's. But it's going to be it's going to be a, a, a game like today. You know, anything can happen in the points race. It's a very tactical race. So uh, like today, anything could have happened in a points race. Anything can happen. So. If your fitness is good enough, then uh, which mine's going to be, uh, a, a medal performance can definitely be within reach. Awesome. Thank, you very much, very much. Thank you. Did you guys have a plan coming into this? I noticed that you took a few preems, you backed off on a few preems. Uh, oh yeah, well, my, my, my plan was just actually to have a good workout. I'm actually training for the Olympics within all the criteriums that I'm doing this year. So my, my plan going in it was definitely to cover cover pretty much anything uh, that was going up the road and also uh, have a good hard workout with uh, whatever preems and make it like a mini mock points race. Was there any thought during the whole uh, race where you thought maybe you could break away, or did you just plan on sticking with everybody and just beating it out at the end? Yeah, I gave it a I gave it a good go at the beginning of the race after that first preem. Uh, I was like, oh well, you know, I have a big gap here, so I might as well get it a, a good a good solid uh, attempt here. And then uh, after that, I pretty much just uh, wanted to come down to a field sprint. Yeah. You guys burnt a lot of people off the pack at that point. Yeah, we did. Feel good about that then. Yeah. And you got lots of fans here, I noticed. Yeah, that's all my family right there. <laughs> Thanks very much. Congratulations. Thanks. Thank you very much.